gather today to consider the life and ministry of Jesus. In the quiet of this sacred place, we give our hearts to hope and reflect upon our own need for a Savior. In the assurance of Scripture, the promise of prayer, and the encouragement of song, we will rest and remember. In this deep remembrance, may we embrace the grace gift that is ours through Jesus Christ, our Lord. May we pray. God of the still, small voice, breathe into us your perfect peace and quiet our spirit. Sing gently into our hearts your music of grace. May we listen and learn to become your instrument of truth in a troubled world. May we follow you in faith and share your journey of service and sacrifice. Help us walk this trail of tears, clinging to your assurance and the promise of your presence. We pray this in the name of the one who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Oh
The scriptures tell us that Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and affliction. When he saw the crowds, he was filled with compassion because they were hopeless and lost, like a sheep without a shepherd. Longing to reach them, he began to lead them. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks will surely find. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Jesus' ministry grew in fame, and people were following him everywhere he went. Eventually, his journey led him to the great city of Jerusalem. As he drew near the city, he began to weep. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how often would I have gathered your children as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, yet you were not willing. Soon, he would enter the city in a great parade of praise. The crowds would take palm branches and go out to him shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Yeah. 
making his triumphant entry into Jerusalem, Jesus began to look ahead to the time of Passover. In his heart, he knew that this was the last time he would celebrate this important moment with his disciples. Following his instructions, the disciples were led to a large upper room where they all gathered for the sacred meal. During this time of fellowship and worship, Jesus revealed more fully his mission of grace. From that upper room, God's divine light shone with golden promise and the world would never be the same. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, Stay here while I go over there and pray. Jesus was overwhelmed with sorrow, and he fell to the ground and prayed, saying, My father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. There, in that shadowed garden, Jesus embraced his destiny and found peace and strength to complete the work of grace. <laughs>
In Gethsemane, a large crowd armed with swords and clubs confronted Jesus. Soldiers arrested Jesus and took him away to face the Roman authorities. Jesus was violently beaten and given over to be crucified. Jesus was taken into the praetorium and a whole company of soldiers gathered around him. They struck him and adorned him with a scarlet robe. They twisted together a crown of thorns and set it upon his head. They put a staff in his right hand and knelt in front of him crying, Hail the King of the Jews! They spit upon him and struck him on the head repeatedly. Then they led him away to be crucified. When they had come to the place called Golgotha, he was fastened to a cross and raised high into the darkening Judean sky. In that moment, the words of Isaiah were made complete. He was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed.
And so we wait for the coming of dawn. We wait, holding on to hope, reaching into the night for some fragile flicker of sacred flame to assure us. We wait in the stillness, considering our place in this profound moment. And with broken hearts, we see our reflections in the wine, our hands on the spear that pierced him, and the thorns of each sin that bruised his brow. Here, in the shadow of Calvary's cross, we wait and weep and give ourselves to grace. For through grace, we mourn this darkness, not as people without hope, but as people who know and love the light.
God, grant us in this moment both sorrow and hope. Gift us with tears of remorse and the deep peace of true repentance. Grant us faith for this journey of remembrance so that we might arrive in the garden restored, renewed and ready, ready to embrace new life, ready to rise and roll our stones away, ready to receive our gift of Alleluia. Thank mm -hmm. you.